Hello everyone welcome to my channel noob developer your go to channel for all things about android development in today's video we are going to talk about master clean architecture and mvvm but before starting that we are diving into an invaluable resource for developers the coin geeko api if you are serious about cryptocurrency market data and creating cutting edge apps you are in the right place with coin geeko api you get access to a gold mine of information let's talk about why this api is a game changer so first comprehensive cryptocurrency data this api gets you the latest rankings market quotes price conversions and much more it's a one stop shop for crypto information point number 2 endless possibilities whether you are into trading portfolio management or simply staying updated with crypto prices coin geeko api has you covered number 3 affordable and flexible pricing it's budget friendly with flexible pricing plans you pay for what you need and the value you get is priceless number 4 reliability matters with a 99.9% uptime you can trust coin geeko to provide accurate data when you need it most number 5 trusted by the pros Some of the biggest name in the crypto industry rely on the Coin Geeko API to power their apps and platforms. So, whether you are a beginner or a seasoned developer, if you are planning to build anything that is crypto related, then this is the API you want in your toolkit. And here's the exciting part: if you use my referral code CZNOOP, then you, when you sign up for Coin Geeko API, you will get a fantastic five hundred dollar off on your annual subscription. So stay tuned as we dive deep into how to harness the power of Coin Geeko API in your app development journey. Do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out any of our tech pack tutorials. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you for your continued support. Let's get ready to level up. But before we begin, if you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tips, coding hacks, and behind the scenes sneak peeks, be sure to follow me on Instagram and Threads. Link to my social media profiles are in the description below. Join our vibrant community and let's connect beyond you. Okay, so let's see first. Which API we are going to use? We are going to use the this Coin Geeko API, and this is the public API, so we don't need to enter any key or pass any key for fetching the data of the coins. So there are so many endpoints you can check. You check API server status, simple get uh, simple price, token price, supported VS currencies, coins list, markets through. So I'm gonna use this uh, endpoint, which is coins plus markets list all supported coin price, market cap, volume. volume and market related data so it will give us this let's try it out first and see what data it going it is going to give us so this is the usd this is usd means this is the currency in which we are going to fetch the all the data market data basically uh, other things like uh, this is the order market cap desc and per page uh, you can fetch any amount of uh, data in per page basically so this is uh, from 1 to 250 this is the value valid values and uh, here it is passing 100 and this is the page 1 everything else is true so if you include spark lines 7 days data example true or false so that means it is going to give you the Seven days data. So let's uh, um, execute this and see what it's gonna return us. So this uh, this is the response body we get here, and uh, from this response body, I'm gonna create a DTO class. So this is our re requested URL. Have this as the base URL. So copy paste this in this. Let's create a objects object class with name constant. and uh, inside this object constants let's have the variable which is symbol base url uh, const val base url equals to what we have okay just copy and paste that url there this that's it okay now if we go there uh, this is our data so let's copy here and get to this and uh, we need to create some data class so let's create a data class now here i have the plugin kotlin data class file from json you can get this plugin from going to the settings and then download the plugin you can get uh, check out any other video for that purpose i'm not going to explain that here so let's just paste it here and name it as coin list dto okay and generate this now you can see we get coinlist dto coinlist dto item and roi 
this is the coin list and this is the coin list dto item now this is the coin list dto item and uh, let's just uh, put this inside the dto package where is the package so this is gonna be in the dto package let's just uh, have all of these into this refractor put this also refractor also inside this dto let's have coin list dto and now put both inside this and also the ROI inside this. Now you can see coin list DTO. This is the coin list DTO. Now have uh, we need to create something else also. So coin list DTO we have now coin DTO. Yeah, we should have the coin DTO also. And uh, so the coin DTO basically uh, the coin DTO list will give us the will give us the list of the coin DTO items and coin list coin DTO basically give us the coin dto uh this the single one basically so let's uh, fetch the coin dto from here here we need to pass the let's check out try it out this also here we need to pass the ui uh, id of, of the coin so let's pass one of the id we get from the above so this is the id let's copy and paste it here and execute this now you can see we get this data here so this is uh, let's just copy and create a new class or data class just paste here and this is our coin dto can see 36 kotlin data class files generated successfully here okay so this is our coin detailed item basically not coin list this is the coin detailed item so this is how we should do this now let's first uh, see this is our uh, this is my gradle file here we have the ideas dagger hill plugin then kotlin capture and uh, inside this we have these dependencies you will get this whole file code inside the description box you can check out that uh, no need to anything do anything else now let's create now as we are doing this using clean architecture so first we need to create three packages which is data then we have the domain package which is for the domain layer and then we will going to have the um, create the presentation layer so presentation now inside the data we need to have two packages so data have some data source like this and also data have the repository so let's have this now inside the data source we need to basically create the data pack data of things like uh, if you are fetching from the api then you need to create the api uh, things like uh, the api interface and the dto classes so we have the dto package here let's put this into the data source and uh, moving is moving the territories i think it moved okay uh what it does i guess okay now we have this set it so now we have coin dto now coin dto list everything is fine and uh, domain layer and the presentation layer we also need two more module uh, packages or you can say layers which is di and the third last one is our util package okay so inside this loot util we need to put this constants so we will put all the above things all the basically things aside from the data domain and presentation layer we just gonna put those into the util package and di module for the dagger hill dependency injection framework now let's create model uh, first we need to create a package inside domain so which it is going to be model and uh, then again some other package which is domain dot repo zetri and the third one is the use case use case now let's create the model first so which model we are going to have this uh, actually uh, yeah let's have the model first so we are going to create two models which is the coin and then the coin detail model so let's create a, a coin data class and inside this coin data class i'm gonna have well okay sorry data class coin well id of type a string then well name of type a string well image of type a string 
where market cap of type long sorry, not a string it's long then well price of type double then well price percent change and it's also going to be in the double then low price of type double and then the high price which is also going to be the double this is the first model which is the coin and then we are going to create another data class which is coin detail so let's create coin detail and now well name of type string is string then well image of type string well market cap it is almost same from that coin and uh, coin basically coin uh, class or data class basically and uh, then well price of type double then well price percent change of type double then low price of type double same the low price so it is high price and the uh, the difference basically the description of the coin so this is the difference between the two data classes also you can have more differences because the coin dto you can see the coin detail uh, class is have some extra data which you can get uh, from this so you can also put the put that into this model class as per your need and uh, i'm not gonna put those because i i'm just having the this is the tutorial for you guys not for, for my app so if i'm uh, i was creating an app for the public then it i will have some more data into this model class but uh, i'm not so let's just stop this here now let's create a kotlin interface for the repository kotlin interface which is coin repository repository and what we are going to have inside this uh the two functions basically only two functions i'm gonna have this here suspend function get all coins and we just need to pass the page value here so which page we are going to fetch here which is of type list of uh, coin list dto item now you can check the coin list dto item here this is the coin list dto item okay okay now uh, the second function is simply you know about this get coin by id and here we need to pass the id of the coin and it is going to return us the coin detail now coin detail is a model here but we need to coin detail dto okay coin dto not coin detail dto think this is the one yeah uh yeah coin detail dto now this is our interface uh which we are going to implement inside this package but uh, before that let's uh, create let's create an interface inside this actually which is for coin geeko api so because if you don't get the data from the api then you don't get the data inside the repository so first we need to create the coin geeko api this is the interface we need and uh, how we gonna get the data by get call and uh, inside this get call we just need to have slash api actually you just need to pass the url from here and uh, let me show you the url here 
दिस इज द यू आर एल कैन सी ए पी आई वी थ्री कॉइन मार्केट बी एस करेंसी इज इक्वल टू यू एस डी ऑर्डर इक्वल टू मार्केट कैप डी ई एस सी पर पेज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड पेज इक्वल टू वन स्पैक लाइन इक्वल टू फॉज एंड लोकल इज इंग्लिश जस्ट कॉपी एंड पेस्ट इट हेयर एंड यू आर गुड टू गो सिंपल नो रॉकेट साइंस दिस इज द सिंपल थिंग यू डी टू डू ओके नाउ दिस इज द यू आर एल दिस इज द गेट एंड दिस इज अवर फंक्शन सो स्पेंड फंक्शन फॉर गेटिंग द ऑल क्वाइंस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द क्वेरी क्वेरी एंड वॉट क्वेरी वी आर गोइंग टू हैव वी आर गोइंग टू क्वेरी द पेज हेयर बाई पासिंग द पेज ऑफ टाइप स्ट्रिंग and it is going to return as the list of coin list dto item now you can see this is the item and the list of type this we are going to fetch um coin list dto item now the second function is uh, also the get call it is going to have api uh, Slash API slash V3 which represent the version of the API coins which is the basically the coins and from these coins we gonna get the i on get the coin particular coin detail by using this ID. Now the function is here the suspend function and from this suspend function we are going to get the coin by using by the ID and uh, the ID should have the here we are going to use the path. the id is a path here so let's import the path and uh, pass the id of type string and it will gonna return as the coin dto um coin dto so coin dto is this is thus yeah so this is our api and this is created by us now it is completed now the coin repository is also completed coin detail coin coin is not a thing here so let's create the repository implementation and uh, the coin repository implementation and how we going to implement so simply we need to inject here the Add inject constructor and private val API of type coin geeko API. Simple and uh, extend implement the basically the implement the coin repository here coin repository and then implement the members of this. So here we need to return something. So what we are going to return? we are going to return the simple api dot get all coins passing the page here simple here we are going to return api dot get coin by id passing the id here this is the simple thing we need to do here and yes that's it now we need to create a di module here so let's create the di module which is the coin geeko api model and this is going to be the object now how we going to create this so we just need to have some singleton uh, functions so first initiate with this with the module and then install in singleton component and uh, object query in this now we need to provide and add singleton function at single ten the function which we need to provide is the provide coin geeko api and what is is going to return it is going to return coin geeko api simple now return the retrofit dot builder dot base url 
and base urls you know constants dot constants dot base url then add converter factory which is moshi converter factory dot create after this build and uh, then create and what we gonna create is the coin gigo abi class.java so this is the coin gigo api which we need to return provide from there here and then we are going to provide the repository which is at singleton also fun provide coin gecko repository coin gecko repository and inside this repository we need to provide the api for the coin gecko api and it will return the coin repository just return coin repository implementation and provide the api so now where we uh, need to use this we gonna get this now we have the model we have the repository we have uh, the module here now inside the di we uh, basically util in the util package we are going to create a response state class sealed class for uh, communicating with the api okay so for that purpose we need to ch um, create a sealed class of response state so let's create this and uh, have some code inside this let's write code for this class also this will return the return the data of type t and uh, it will have the data of type t and it can be null so if it is null then have the value as null and if it is then the message the string type and if it are also null then have the null value now inside this we're gonna have the class of loading and of type t data could be null here so data of type t equals to null it will return the response state basically sorry not return it is the implementation of data so let's create the similar things uh, loading success data same response state same everything else is the same and uh, the data here is not the null will not be the null case here uh, because we are in the success and uh, inside the third one this is the error and uh, here we don't need mass uh, data we gonna need masses of type string comma data and uh, message should not be the null case here response rate state data comma message okay now this is our uh, response state class let's create the coin use case here so let's create the use case classes here and uh, before actually creating the use case classes let's have something here as we already created the coin eco api model we just uh, need to provide in the manifest file the name so this is the setup for the date uh, okay that uh, dot name sorry name uh, coin Geeko API and uh, we need to create the application class so coin Geeko application and pass just have implemented this just need to implement this and annotate it with hilt android app and now you can see we get the option as coin 
SQL application. Okay, so this is how we complete the uh, dagger hilt setup. And uh, now um, this is our main activity. So we need to annotate this with Android entry point. And uh, everything else is same. We are not using any other um, activity. So till then we are good to go. Now let's create two use cases. First is the coin uh, use case. And the second one is the coin detail coin list use case sorry coin list use case so let's implement the coin use case first and how we gonna use implement this um let's inject first and what we gonna inject here cons in the constructor we are going to inject the private well repository and uh, repository of type coin key coin repository sorry not type it's uh, the coin repository and uh, yeah simple just operator fun invoke provide the id here of type string and it will return as the flow of response state of point detail coin detail and it is equals to flow block let's uh, import the flow here and we are good to go i guess yes now inside this we need to have some try catch block first so catch block in this catch block uh, first we need to handle the http exception as we are working with the api calls so uh, what add required surround with sdk version tdm issue surround with this 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 requires api extension okay http exception now here we are going to emit the response state um, dot error of point detail type with message as e localized message and if it is null then an error unexpected error the second catch is going to be here the io exception and uh, it will emit response state dot error of type point ttu simple it is the internet error now let's have the try block in the inside this try block first emit response state dot loading of type point detail and after this i'm gonna fetch the coin here and uh, repository dot um, get coin by id and passing the id here just simple now we need to convert the coin this is the coin detail but we want to emit the data of coin detail like uh, if i'm gonna emit here then you can see response state dot success coin detail but we need to pass the coin detail object here and we can not pass this coin so we need to convert this coin detail to the coin detail object and how we gonna do this so we are going to convert this coin detail object to coin detail object how just see this uh, we just need to create simple function here function to detail and uh, this function is going to return as the uh, detail coin detail object so function to coin detail and uh, it will return as the coin detail object simple and now we need to just create a object of coin detail and return uh, 
uh, from this so coin detail and provide the values like image equals to image dot large so we have two images small and large we need large image and then name equals to name then uh, price equals to market data dot current price and uh, we need the usd amount and then convert it to double also so this is it and now price percent change and uh, how we gonna get this this is just market data dot price change percentage in 24 hour and uh, also in currency dot usd in currency dot usd okay i think uh market data dot price change percentage 24 hour in currency um error type on result dot usd okay and uh, after this low price so how we gonna get the low price and high price we need we get the data from market data dot low 24 hour dot usd dot to double and then uh, the high price simple the same thing market data dot high 24 dot usd dot uh, to double then the description and which is the same description dot en because we want description in english and then the market cap and uh, market cap market data dot market cap um, dot usd dot two double and uh, this is it okay so now if you see here it will it is saying that we uh, the required one thing is string here but we are getting the um, null okay null string so we just need to simply do this so if it if image dot large is going to be null then it will just uh, uh, set this value set the blank string to this image okay so we need to just use the let here and uh, it dot large if it is not then simple blank space and similar thing with this and uh, here okay now this is interesting um, let me change some things here actually so if it is null then set it to this by default, default and uh, image and a blank space here equals to zero dot zero equals to zero zero and zero 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 zero, zero string now i think you're not gonna get replace this with safe call so that if it is not gonna be null okay just replace with simple null safe check that's it um although it is not going to happen if i am right the API is proper. Okay, so now it is perfect. Now if I simply dot to coin detail, you can see now the we are getting the coin detail object rather than the coin DTO object. Okay, so that's how we do this. Now simply we are going to create a new use case. This is and list use case just need to copy paste this thing completely 
nothing else we need to do from here just copy paste and uh, replace this coin detail with coin list and uh, uh, let me see this actually i um yeah i think list of coin um if i'm not wrong list of response tier list of coin yeah this coin and uh, just replace this with this list of coin and copy copy and paste okay now here we are getting the coin so how we gonna change this simple get all coins get the page here value the page value okay so the id here we need page here so the page value now if you see here uh, this will return the list of coin list dto item so not list of coins so how we gonna get this so simply you need to just map this so one by one each coin dto object we gonna convert into the coin object okay so here we just need to simply do this now we need to create this two coin so let's open the coin dto coin list um where is the coin list dto item so this is our coin list dto item and we need to convert this to function to coin object which will return the coin okay so how are we gonna convert this this, this is very easy actually um, exactly like we did in the coin detail you just need to do this okay exactly same thing return coin and uh, name equals to name if it is not then this then market cap which is uh, market cap and if it is null then zero then price which is current price and it is null then 0, 0.0 then we have price percentage change and which is price percentage change in 24 hours if it is null then 0, 0.0 and uh, then image equals to image then we have the id here so id and uh, now low price equals to low 24 hour and then the high price high 24 hour and then this this now you can see we have done it now you can see here it is everything is just fine now here we have coin list so refactor it refactor it with coin list okay now you can see we get we are gonna get the coin list from this use case and now everything is fine now what we need to do now we need to create the presentation layer so the, in the presentation layer we're gonna have two things two packages basically two directory or packages whatever you can call so we just need to create a two packages which is coin first and the second one is the coin um, actually not coin it's a coin list and it's not coin it's coin detail so let's refactor it with the coin detail okay so first one is the coin detail and the second one is the coin list so now we need to create some things for uh, this and uh, the coin detail uh, basically we need to create a view model for this coin detail and then then the uh, view model for the coin list everything so let's first create coin list view model and uh, coin list view model view model and how we gonna create this coin list view model we just need to annotate it first 
with the hill to view model not hill to view model basically no, not hit hill uh, android app so just inject the constructor with the private well coins use case uh, or we have coin use case so oh sorry coin list use case so coin list use case not coin use case coin list use case okay and uh, just implement the view model here to get the life cycle support here now here we need to create two mutable state flow objects and uh, which will gonna hold the value for us so private val coin list value equals to mutable state mutable state flow and uh, here you need to pass something so i'm gonna uh, first uh, create a state object uh, with the using the data class so we need to create a data class which is going to be coin list state and what we gonna have in this coin list state simple uh, this is not uh, something big it is just uh, the three variables first val is loading and uh, it will uh, it will it is of type boolean and the default value for this is the false then val coins list coin list of type list of coin and uh, the default value list of coin and the default value is for this is the empty list then the simple error message and which is of type a string obviously and the default one is the blank space blank string basically and we need to pass a data class here just like that i can see this is very simple actually uh, it is not too difficult so now let's uh, create another uh, coin list value of type state flow of type coin list state equals to coin list value okay so this is the mutable state flow object and uh, we are gonna observe this variable to fetch the value of the uh, coin list basically which we get from the api using the use case and repository now we need to call the function to just store the value of the uh, we are getting from the use case and repository to this coin list value variable or object whatever you, you want to call this and uh, fun get all coins this is the going to be the function for us and uh, um, okay fun get all coins and we gonna pass the page here it will going to be the view model scope dot launch and in the launch we need to um, you can actually just directly launch this or you can provide the here the dispatcher so dispatchers dot io whatever you can call actually uh, you can choose that uh, dispatcher also here but if you want you can directly call this under the view model scope so that is also the one of the case you can do and uh, i'm gonna just call the coin list use case here as uh, we use the operator keyword there so we don't need to specify the function name here we just need to call this by the class and uh, pass this page value and then simply collect um, collect and by using the when now if you see here um, add require extension is equal to s version is equal to 7 annotation so call requires version 7 of the s extension is dk current minimum is 0 invoke so if you want to use the invoke keyword you need to have the 7 of the s extension sdk at least 
and uh, now uh, inside this fan we just need to provide the it which is actually the uh, result here so you can annotate it explicitly also now is response state dot success if yes then execute this block and if is response state dot loading then execute this block and if it's response state dot error then execute this block this is going to be the same for the second view model class which is going to be the coin view coin detail view model or coin view model whatever you can call this okay so response state dot success what we're gonna do this here so simply coin list coin list value dot value equals to um coin list state and pass here the coin list value so coin list equals to it dot result dot data and if it is gonna be empty then simply empty list not empty it it is gonna null then the empty list if it is gonna it is uh, it will uh, empty list then it already set the empty list no issue now if it is uh, in the loading state then we gonna simply uh, value equals to point list state and pass the is loading as true and everything else by default is appropriate as per our need and uh, in the error case also we just need to pass the um, error result dot message and unexpected error okay now this is it so this is our view model and this is our state object just need to do this uh, same thing for coin detail also so let's create the coin detail view model and coin detail coin detail state this is going to be the data class here it is also going to be the same thing exactly um, um let's have actually um, exactly is uh, where is loading equals of type boolean default value false then where coin detail of type coin detail which can be the null case so if it is null then have null and uh, where error of type is string null by default the blank now coin detail view model we just need to simply first simple add held view model held view model now um actually there is a, a very similarity in this so let's just copy paste here and see if we can reuse this class at any level so if we can it is very good it is gonna help us so let's do this and we can see we need the coin use case not the coin list use case so coin use case here remove this then coin list value but uh, we don't need the coin list value here we need coin detail here and uh, coin list state not coin detail state then coin detail here and this is going to be the coin detail coin detail state and that's it get all coins no get coin detail by id and provide the id here view model scope then simply coin use case provide the id here dot collect result simply coin list value no coin detail dot value and then the coin list state no let's replace this coin list state 
with coin detail state just replace this now you can see coin detail coin list no the coin detail so result dot data and if it is not null simply if it is null then null no issue and everything else is going to be the same so let's remove all of this and we are still getting some error so let's see what we are getting the as error actually we have quoted some run thing here now you can see it is very clear so yeah that's it we already see how we set up the coin geeko api and its view models and then use cases and the repositories now we only need ui to show the user and for that purpose first i'm gonna open this main activity layout inside this you can see we have linear layout and width and height as match parent in this we need to set up an app compact button first and uh, this button we wrap content and wrap content and then we have this text which is sort price okay so on the basis of the price we're gonna sort this whole layout which we have whole list basically which we have from the api okay now let's uh, close this and uh, give this button and id android id and then add id plus this so id should be bt sort okay now the second thing which we need in this particular layout is the progress bar the progress bar should be match parent and match parent and the visibility is set to gone we're gonna set this to gone for the first because we don't need to show the user the progress bar just that okay when we require we're gonna uh, change the alter the visibility of this okay now id should be progress bar and the third thing which we need here is the recycler view and this should be match parent and wrap content bigger the list the bigger the recycler view the margin should be all from all end i'm gonna set this to 10 dp the id should be the coin recycler view okay now come to the main activity activity code and uh, inside this let's set up first the date view binding so we need to create a data net band binding variable activity main binding and uh, all you need to simple binding equals to activity main binding activity main binding dot inflate layout inflator and then simply set content view as binding dot root okay now we have this button we have this progress bar we have this recycler view and now we just need to set up the recycler view so, so set up the recycler view first and uh, how we set up the recycler view simple uh, you just need to set up some layout and uh, what we have the adopter and uh, other things and uh, so we need to create the adopter first so let's create this function first create function set up the recycler view and uh, in this we gonna first, first create this variable private late in it where uh, coin adopter of type there we need the type so for that type i'm gonna create this adopter here and uh, we have to create this let's create this in the coin list so coin adopter the file is going to be this i'm gonna not gonna add this okay now let's uh, before coding in the in this class we need a recycler view file okay and uh, also the menu file which we let let it actually cancel this first uh, i'm gonna create the recycler view file so recycler view xml file okay so for that purpose let's me create a new recycler view file here in the layout so let's create this layout resource file coin recycler view let's change the layout uh, okay so we need the card view here and uh, how we gonna get this card view simply remove this and this card view layout we get now we need to set up the some things like uh, height and width so height here is match parent which uh, i don't want actually we, i want just 250 dp and uh, 250 dp the height sorry and 180 dp as uh, width which you can also set the match parent as per your need the margin should be um start top end and uh, bottom so let's create it as 2 dp the bot bottom should not be the case actually here uh, because for every item we don't want the bottom um, or we want 
uh, but we don't want actually because we are creating the top margin so we don't need bottom margin so for that we need to set this as a margin vertical 5 dp and margin top as 5 dp that's it we don't need mar uh, top bottom margin the padding we i want as 2 dp uh, you can increase as per your need and the card background color i want as card view shadow start color and uh, card corner radius okay okay i need to change this here so card corner radius i want as 6 dp then everything is same and we just need to create a linear layout now or you can directly create the linear layout without creating the squad view layer it's for your need uh, what you want width as match parent and uh, everything as match parent now margin i want as 5 tp the orientation i want as vertical this is our linear layout so what we gonna name it as it's gonna be coin linear layout okay and inside this let's id as a coin linear layout and uh, inside this i want an image view so i have compact image view and width should be uh, match parent height to 180 dp and then uh, margin as 5 dp content description which is coin image scale type center crop and uh, source which you can uh, set up as per your need okay it's uh, not necessary actually you just need to give some source image so that if you got any error and then you can display something actually so for that purpose you need to show uh, provide the source here okay now let's create the text view a compact text view and uh, the width should be match parent height should be wrap content and uh, margin top is uh, 10 dp padding 4 dp or you can set uh, 5 text here i am going to have as coin name so in text in this text view basically i am gonna show the coin name here so text alignment uh, center text color um, black text size 16 sp and then text style which is bold and that's how we set up our text name layout so id i'm gonna here as text coin name and uh, the image id is um, img coin image okay now this is our linear layout and coin card layout so this recycler view i'm gonna use in this adapter and uh, how we i'm how am i gonna use this let's see so this is the coin adapter class and uh, inside this we need some things so let's pass private val okay context of type context and the list so coin list of type array list as coin which we have already okay now extend this um, as recycler view just implement we need to implement this recycler view dot adopter and in this adopter we need to create this adopter dot coin view holder here now you can use some other way also and uh, 
just implement the members here before uh, coding into the members I'm gonna create the view holder class first so this view holder class is gonna be I'm gonna create this as uh, inner class coin view holder and uh, implement the recycler view recycler view dot view holder provide the view here and uh, here I need this view now you can see simple in this what we need to do we need to initialize our um, widgets which we created in the recycler view file xml file basically so coin layout which is of type linear layout how we gonna get this view dot find view by id r dot id dot coin linear layout you can also do this with the uh, by using the uh, view binding method so i'm not gonna create the view binding setup here for this one so let's implement this by simple find view by id process um you can have also the what we can as call as uh, we call that as bind view method so that also the case then we have coin name of type text view view dot find view by id r dot id dot txt coin name so these are the variables which we have and uh, now we have all the three items so in the get item count let's pass the coin list dot size return basically and uh, in the on view bind holder um, first in on create view holder create the coin view first so coin view which is equals to layout inflator dot from parent dot context dot inflate what we gonna inflate is r dot layout dot coin recycler view then parent then attach to bottom as false return coin view holder and provide this coin view now in the on bind view holder first list fetch the list which is coin list at position so basically this is not this is not the list uh, let's have this as coin and uh, then we have the holder we have the widgets so let's set up the coin name first which is coin dot name then we have holder dot coin layout dot set on click listener so let's set the click listener here and we have the picasso dot get dot load you can use the glide library here and uh, then we have the coin dot image dot into holder dot coin image so this way we gonna we can show the image to the user and uh, on click on this uh, holder or you can see the icon, uh, the layout of the coin in which we are showing the image and the name so let's create the intent here intent and uh, this intent for what purpose simple providing the context and the con activity which we are in which we are currently so and where we are uh, gonna go so let's start this activity start oh sorry context dot start activity and provide the intent here now we are in the main activity and we want to go to the coin activity which is this activity so and this activity basically for the to showing the whole detail of the coin okay to the user so for that but reason we created this activity now we need to put something here so that we know what coin we are actually showing the details of 
okay so for that purpose i'm going to send the id of the coin and uh, by using this coin dot id coin dot id so this is and then we have all the details of this coin so let me show you this we all have details so you can expand your ui as per your need okay you can use everything from this here so the adopter class is ready to be used in the main activity okay so now we created the coin adapter now we need to initialize this basically instant initialize this here and then we instantiate it below so here we need a layout manager also so let's create the variable for layout manager and this is of type grid layout manager so layout manager is equals to grid layout manager and uh, this comma 2 okay now in this uh, setup recycler view function we need to basically uh, complete set actually set the adapter to this recycler view and uh, the layout manager and uh, above things so simple coin adapter equals to coin adapter and providing the context here by using this at the main activity and then the array list which is the empty array list here then uh, binding dot coin recycler view dot adapter and it's sliced with coin adapter which we created just like here then binding dot coin recycler view dot layout manager and the here we are going to set it as layout manager which we instantiated with grid layout manager this comma 2 now uh, this you can uh, ignore if you want uh, adding the item decoration part divider item decoration then providing the binding dot coin recycler view dot context and then providing the grid layout manager and uh, the um, what we can say grid layout manager dot uh, this uh, comma one dot orientation that's it so these things we need to set this de uh, item decoration and uh, now after doing this now we have this and uh, now we need to call the api call so let's simply um, binding dot coin recycler view dot add on scroll listener so here we are going to listen when the scrolling basically which uh, user did basically uh, will going to do so for that purpose we going we are going to override this fun on scroll state changed method okay so uh, whenever the user scroll we get this uh, basically the, this function called and now here i'm gonna check if our layout manager dot find last visible item position is equals to layout manager dot item count minus one so that means if user is at the bottom of this list then we are going to uh, let's create another variable which is private let in it where and this is a page of type int and uh, let's in instantiate with zero so zero and uh, make this like this so page we gonna increment it with one page plus equals to one okay now we also need to create instantiate the coin view model which we created on the previous one so coin view uh, sorry private where coin view model by uh, sorry of type of type coin view model by view models and uh, let's make this as well okay now 
with this coin list view model or coin view model whatever you can call actually let's make it as coin list view model because uh, coin view model is something different um and coin list view model is different so i am here we are using the coin view model coin list view model and uh, also change this coin list view model okay so because here we are showing the list not the coin detail so the, for that purpose we need to do this and uh, after this we need to coin list view model dot get all coins and uh, provide the page dot to string value then simply call the api call api and this function we need to implement in this main activity so what we have in this we are going to have in this call api function basically we gonna observe the value of the coin list view model um let's open the coin list view model here and here you can see we get the coins by using the coin use case dot collect method in this collect method we are basically collecting the result of this operator function invoke and uh, this is gonna return us uh, the response state dot success and uh, okay basically this is the flow so we are experiment uh, observing this value and setting this value to this mutable state flow variable so let's simply call this under the protein scope dispatchers dot um io dot launch and uh, observe this coin list view model dot coin list value dot collect latest like this or you can do one more thing uh, if i am not wrong you can do this also but this is deprecated so we just need to do this okay so collect latest basically and uh, what it is gonna do is basically we get the some value from here and uh, like uh, coin list value and uh, then you just need to provide this uh, uh, coin list value and then check if is loading not loading actually coin uh, okay just uh, use it directly actually well if coin list value dot is loading this is our if true basically if this is the value then we are going to simply binding dot progress bar dot visibility equals to view dot visible okay and uh, if coin list value dot um, error is not blank that means we have some error so let's first copy this and paste it here um, and we gone this then simply show the toast here toast dot make text this add main activity comma um coin list value dot error then toast dot length long dot show now we have the third option in which basically if we get the coin list dot is not empty or empty basically uh, you can get the empty values but uh, we don't need to uh, actually at that time or uh, um dot is not empty not empty actually uh, i think we need to check whether it is uh, null or not okay so here actually we are observing the coin list state value okay this is the coin list state this is coin list value which returns as the state of this basically this data class this object so we need to just check and uh, and i think we don't need to do this we need to do something else so we can do that also but here also actually um yeah actually simply we can do this point if coin list dot is loading if this is true then show the progress bar visibility is equals to view dot visible else if 
coin list value dot uh, error dot is not blank then finding dot uh, progress bar dot visibility is equals to view dot um, con and simply show the toast toast dot me text this add mean activity then simply the value which we get and toast dot length long dot show and if it is not if it is blank that means we have the data here so whether it's empty list or the list it, do, it doesn't matter at that point so we just need to simply binding dot progress bar dot visibility equals to view dot con and uh, simply uh, coin adopter dot set data and uh, provide the temp coin list as array list of coin and uh, what is this temp coin list temp coin list dot add all um, coin list value dot coin list and now if you see here we have two things here which is not declared yet by us so we need to do that also and uh, for that purpose let's do something so let's create this so first this temp list what is this simple private well temp coin list of is equals to array list of coin first thing and then uh, the second uh, is uh, the set data function of the uh, adopter class so let's open the adopter class here and then see what we are missing here so uh, we are actually missing the coin uh, set data function so let's open this uh, coin adapter class and we don't have set data function here so let's create this set data function in which we gonna receive the list of type array list of coin and then this dot coins list is equals to this new list and notify the data set changed simple this is uh, the final thing and uh, now if you run this app you will get the data okay but we need to make something else also so in this uh, L activity we have this one button also which is bt sort so on that set on click listener okay so by uh, the set uh, the set on click listener in this basically we have the list time coin list set simply sort with uh, here you need to make the comparator so i'm gonna change check it this with o1 we have o1 which is object 1 we have o2 which is object 2 and then simply compare it o1 dot name dot compare to o2 dot name and this is the our comparator method basically now simply add this coin data adapter dot set data with the new temp coin list with the sorted one basically so this is how we sort the data with the on the basis of the name basically so this is how the sorting works and this is how the call api works everything else works now um i think yeah everything is fine i guess um what we are missing here is the search so let's make the search also so for that purpose we need to create a new directory here which is um, new directory which is menu directory and in this menu directory we need to create a menu.xml file basically menu.resource menu resource file and in this menu resource file i am gonna have something which is um, what we have let's uh, create the item and uh, id which is menu search then uh, icon here you can use the ic menu search uh, we can create the menu search icon here uh, with just simple let's create the new vector asset by vector asset uh, clip art basically let's search it the search um, it will take some time so wait we get this so simple select this and this is our IC menu search icon finish it don't ask again IC menu search 
so this is our icon now the title is search coin then i content which is white obviously and uh, action view class is going to our um search view android not widget android x dot app compact app compact dot widget dot search view widget dot search view yeah, that's it simple now show x as action if room or collapse action view type so this is like that it will display like this so when you click it will just cover up a whole uh, action bar toolbar basically so let's move on to this uh, and implement this um the search so how we gonna implement this search so let's first simple override one or two methods which is on create options menu and uh, inside this option menu menu inflator we have and just inflate the r dot menu dot menu file and provide the menu then simply search is equals to menu dot find item with the id r dot id dot menu search then we have the search view which is search dot action view as android x dot app compact dot widget dot search view simple now search view dot is submit button enabled yes then search view dot set on query text listener yes implement this also and now return room now we need to implement this search basically so for that purpose we need to search dot on query text listener implementation and then we get the two members which is this on query text submit on query text change so on submitted we just need to return the false because this is submitted so we don't need to do something else here but here if a new text uh, dot is empty and it is not null basically so then coin adapter dot set data simple with the temp coin list else coin adapter dot filter dot filter with the new text so this is and then return the true here so now we need to create the filter function also here in this coin adapter class so let's create this filter and uh, undo 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 also uh, let's call the get all coins um on the on start actually so let's override on start method also and inside this we need to because if you don't scroll here if user don't scroll then it will not call, gonna called and uh, we don't get this actually so either what you do we can you we can do is basically uh, you can also do something like this so just put this here and call this first and then observe the value so and also call this uh, from here so i'm pretty sure this now initialize it with one so we get the value as page or to string okay so first time it will call for the uh, page one and if the second time it will call for the two okay that's it simple now uh, we need to uh, we don't need to implement this actually so let's open the coin adapter class because we didn't implement the filter so let's implement the filter and uh, how are we gonna implement the filter so basically the adapter or uh, the recycler view basically our uh, in the uh, in this simple android gives us the function overridden actually so for the filter list so we can use that also we can use that and uh, actually we are going to use that one so let me show you how we gonna do that okay um so we are here so first what we need to do is simple here implement with the filter label and create a new list which is filtered list of type array list of coin 
and here you can see we get some function to implement so implement this get filter function and in this we need to this dot filter list equals to list now in this get filter function what we need to do simple so here we need to do is return the object by extended with the filter function and uh, in this filter function we get the perform filtering method overridden which is and uh, then create a string which is equals to constraint dot to string and uh, if it is null then simple blank space then check for string dot is not empty and if it is not empty then simply where array list equals to array list of coin and uh, filtered list dot filter it dot name dot lowercase dot contains sorry dot contains we have the string dot lowercase and uh, dot for each dot for each then we have this array list so add that item to the array list and uh, then clear the filter list and add the new array list which we created by using by after the filtering basically so this is our if method and uh, if it is not this then uh, we just need to filter list is equal to coins list coin list and uh, return the filter results dot apply this dot value equals to filter list and this is how basically we uh, uh, create our filter function now we need to publish this result so for that purpose let's uh, override the publish result function and inside this we need to check if our results dot values is equals to null then um, array list of type coin which is basically the empty list and as set data to the adapter by using the filter list which we filtered here so that's how we basically create our main activity layout and everything else now we are basically calling the coin list detail class here and uh, where is the word coin list detail so basically the coin activity class and inside this coin activity class we just pass the id and by that id we gonna fetch the whole detail of the coin and then basically simply show it to the user on that particular screen so for that purpose we need to create uh, let's open the coin activity uh, like i already opened actually so simply we need to set some data to that and uh, let me show you how we gonna do that so first of all we need to check if our layout is complete or not for this particular activity if not then we need to uh, complete that also so let's first uh, complete the layout so open the layout file actually of this activity coin layout so here we have the match parent as match parent height and width now let's create the scroll view so match parent match parent and this inside this we need to create a linear layout uh, this is also match parent and match parent orientation of this is going to be vertical now let's create the progress bar which is also going to be the match parent match parent and uh, visibility is uh, gone set to gone now create the id for this so this is basically going to the coin progress bar and uh, the progress bar is completed now the image view coin detail 
सो फर्स्ट एप कॉम्पैक्ट इमेज व्यू इमेज व्यू वी नीड मैच पेरेंट एज विथ वन फिफ्टी डी पी एज हाइट एंड मार्जिन शुड बी टेन डी पी ऑल अराउंड एंड स्केल टाइप शुड बी सेंटर ग्रॉफ दैट शुड बी फाइन आई एम इफ आई एम नॉट गेसिंग रॉन्ग या दैट शुड बी द फाइन सो लेट्स give the id to this img coin image detail um add plus okay now the image is set up already now we need to set up the app compact text view so this is also match parent width but wrap content the height and uh, margin 10 dp all around padding 15 dp text uh, the default one is the coin name text size because uh, this is actually the um title so let's keep it as 20 sp now the coin name the coin detail and the coin uh image is set so now we need to have this as uh we need, actually you can create some things uh, like uh, the market cap the detail the price then the coin price height percentage everything you can do actually you can make some things so let me just <laughs> copy and paste all of this and like this actually and uh, let me show you the layout so this is how we uh, the layout is going to be looked like in our case so let's open the coin activity class and see how we gonna implement this so simple let's first create the binding of activity main binding no we have activity coin binding so binding equals to activity coin binding dot inflate layout inflator then set content view binding dot root okay now we are uh, we were uh, basically calling the intent to open this activity and provide the id so let's first check if intent is not equals to null or you can use simply the null operator uh that also the case so like this actually intent if let it is not null then simply we get the id so where id or val id equals to coin id equals to uh it dot get a string extra this is the id so now we get the coin id now we need to simply create the coin list view model so for that purpose private val coin view model of type coin view model by view model so now coin view model dot get coin by id and provide the id here which is coin id simple now you need to just create this as like that so dot to string basically so maybe you get this so for that purpose i think this is the best one and here we can check if our coin id dot is not blank then simply call this otherwise don't need to and show the toast basically that toast dot make text this dot coin activity we don't have any id to call toast dot length long dot show so if uh, at any case basically uh, you get this did uh, the error or crash you then you know actually at that point of time you know whether why basically this uh, crash is happening so this if this is the reason then you get the crash uh, detail directly by using this so we all we all always need to do this actually okay so remember this this is the very important thing actually not toast showing the toast basically we are uh, in the industry if you work for the any company you see that uh, in that case you need to send some crash log to the server and uh, so that we if you if user get the crash then you can check the log how why uh, user getting the log or basically the crash okay so that's the case also now we already got call this get coin by id and uh, this is the case now we need to coin value just need to observe the coin value so for that purpose let's uh, 
we model dot coin get coin by id and now observe coin detail we have this coin detail so simple create function of this and simple dispatches dot io dot launch here also uh, exactly the way which i did in this you just need to do so simply first you need to observe this value and check if it is this if it is this if it is this so coin view model dot coin value dot collect or collect latest okay now if this is going to be the our coin value so let's uh, create this variable and check if coin value dot is loading if this is true then simply what you need to do is binding dot coin progress bar dot visibility equals to view dot visible now copy paste and see if else if coin value dot error dot is not blank then first visibility gone and uh, show the toast here this at the coin activity show the toast with the coin value dot error toast dot uh, length long dot show now after this if uh, those two conditions are not met then what we are going to do is simply check uh, first i'm gonna check uh, we get the coin details so uh, we can get the coin detail as none yes we can get the coin detail as none but i don't think uh, we get the coin detail as null so coin value dot coin detail um, yeah I don't think if we are gonna get this as null so simply binding dot uh, first the progress verb set to gone then set the values as um, let me show you what values we are going to set and how I'm gonna just copy paste this actually here and like this so the coin value as coin detail img coin image detail txt coin uh, we didn't create the id here why this is the text id coin uh, txt coin name so txt coin name dot text and uh, change this value with coin value for each, each case coin value coin value and coin value now here you can see uh, this is going as the this is basically getting uh, giving us the thing that replace with safe null call so for that purpose i am gonna do one thing which is simply let call and put this as like this now point value and uh, just replace this with uh, refactor it with value replace with dot call um point detail dot image okay sorry uh, my bad actually mm, value dot coin detail actually uh, this can be null so for that purpose it is saying that we need to create this oh sorry uh, why what i'm doing actually coin detail now we don't need to use this actually we can directly simply use this so coin just remove this okay now this is completed and uh, this is how basically we do this the whole layout and then the calling and everything else so this is completed now okay let's run this app and see if it is working or not fine uh okay let me now uh, we have this error which is only the original thread that created a hierarchy can touch its views expected main call in default dispatcher worker 2 and uh, where is this so calling the api and we are okay so uh, basically what we can do is here uh, simply change the context here dispatchers dot main and keep all of this inside the main thread now if i run this again and see if it's work or not it should work i guess uh, and we are getting the data now now you can see that we are getting the list but this is not proper so why not proper because it is not uh, in the right position so let's change the layout now let's change some things in the layout because in this we have this uh, where is this bt oh sorry it is activity coin it is activity mail this is the bt and uh, we didn't set the orientation as vertical that's why it is showing the list l in the side way of the short price button so let's rerun the app and check if it will work or not everything else is working fine simply looking good so now you can see we are getting the data but here's one more thing we need to change is then the title basically so we need to keep the title color as white 
uh, coin recycler view and in this coin recycler view the coin name should be in the white then it will look good actually let's see everything else is working fine now you can see bitcoin ethereum bnb tether everything is there now if i click on let's first sort with the price uh yeah it is working now so it is okay it is not sorting by price actually it is sorting by the letters so the title is wrong here because it is not sorting with the price although you can do that uh, it's not like you can't do that you can do that you just use not you just need to change o1 dot name from o1 dot price sorry o1 dot name to o1 dot price that's it and then it will short on the basis of the price so where's our activity main it's short by name simple and uh, now it will if i click on anyone what will happen okay it will crash it is crashing now on the click of one so it is also problem the same problem in like in the previous one so let's open the coin activity and let's resolve this also coin activity and with context dispatches dot main let's just uh, import it and run this again and uh, i'm pretty sure it will work now let's see let's click on something now you can see this is how it will work actually it is working now ethereum and then we have the data but uh, here's the problem actually we are not getting uh, we are just setting the text only uh, let's change something what we can change what we can change value.coin detail here then image we have then we have coin price so let's have this coin detail dot price string then we have the coin name I have this as coin name also this is a task for you change the value of this uh, text view in such a way that uh, when users see then coin name should be of another color and your detail should be of another color uh, see if you can implement that from anywhere then do it by own by which is basically researching and then tell me if you did that then tell me in the comments how you did that okay till then it is fine coin price high it is also working so it is not like uh, it is not working but it looks good if you keep this as this coin market cap coin price percent okay now it is fine i guess also we have this button which you can remove if you want it is not worth taking so now you can see coin market cap 0 0.34693 price to 14.09 coin price to 13.09 coin price high to 15.27 coin price percent change 0 0.34693 okay coin market cap and coin price change is the same how is this possible it should not be the same actually uh, let's see coin percent change and coin market cap i have same thing that's why it is showing the same value so no issue rerunning the app now you can see 3.294492961 e10 is the market capitalization for pnp with crypto and there you have it folks we covered the ins and outs of creating a stellar app using clean architecture with coin Geekway api remember if you are ready to supercharge your app with the most comprehensive cryptocurrency data out there use my referral code cgnoob to get 500 dollar off on your annual subscription plan i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow developers have questions or want to share your thoughts drop a comment below and i'll be your I will be more than happy to help. Stay connected with us on social media for the latest updates. Follow me on Instagram and threads. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button also. Ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Thank you for tuning in today. And as always, keep coding, keep exploring, keep building amazing things. Until next time, I am your host, Noob Developer, signing off. See you in the next video.